Hello, hello, my lovely nail crew. How is everybody doing today? We're doing a mini on these beautifully sculpted clear nails. I'm going to be using the Nail Junkies Acrylic today. I'm also going to be using these two here, uh, Cover Pink and Crystal Clear. These are the one ounce jars using, possibly might be using Luna, not too sure. Uh, definitely using Cancer, um, maybe not a lot, but just like a tad here and there. Um, mainly I want to use Moody Maroon and Treasure Chest in this design. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do, but um, I also want to be using Capricorn. But I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this mini. I just wanted to use these colors. But I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys let me know down below uh, whether you like this set or not. But yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and then this too. This is Queenie. This is one that came out when her first uh, jars and everything. But it's such a beautiful color. I really, really love it. It's a beautiful gold uh, shimmer. It's beautiful. And Moody Maroon is like this burgundy color with some green glitter in it and gold and everything. It's just stunning. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, but these are the little 10 gram jars. And this one is the 15 gram jars. Uh, this is Capricorn. This is part of the uh, Zodiac collection. Which, like I said before, guys, I don't know. I don't know if she's keeping the Zodiac collection as of right now. So... But you can go check on her store, which is a link down below for you guys. You can use my code Melinda Boo, save yourself 15%. And this one here is beautiful. This is Luna. I really wanted to use this one, but then in the end, I don't really know if I do or not. But and of course, Cancer is always my favorite black. It's the beautiful shimmery black. Love it. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get all this free and we are going to get started on these nails. I've already prepped them as well. I went ahead and put forms on and sculpted these nails out. But look at this treasure chest. Like, oh my God, guys, this is so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. And it has the little logo signs in it. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. You like this? Do you like the gold? I mean, I love it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, guys. And it's so, so just bright. Like, I just, I just love how it looks. But anyways. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting to try these acrylics, go check out her uh, jars. I do know that she is changing some things in her stores. I'm not sure if she's keeping the uh, 10 gram jars uh, for long I do know I think she might be trying to upgrade some of the acrylic up to one ounces maybe and maybe just the 15 grams which is really amazing because I actually prefer bigger jars uh, instead of the smaller ones but yeah anyways let's go ahead and get in this mini hope you guys enjoy it I'm excited I really was just looking forward to using that moody maroon it's just stunning guys but I'm also gonna like try to walk you through what I'm doing here in case you are a beginner so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into this Queenie here and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the pinky remember to keep this thin um, I like to you know once I set my bead down I wipe my brush off and I start letting the acrylic kind of set for a second you know let it kind of mold itself and then start pulling it down the nail very slowly uh, taking my time a lot of a lot of this is sped up guys so do keep that in mind uh, some parts are some aren't some are in real time <clears throat> but I wanted to give you guys a detail of what I was doing with this mini uh, but anyways like I said I've got Queenie going here this is going to be a full nail of Queenie all the way up um, I just apply in small beads um, not so wet because um, you don't want it running all over the nail um, that is a big thing that you have to learn with acrylic is learning your ratios because 
when doing acrylic that is a major thing to do is like to learn how those ratios are because if you you know you don't want a really wet bead and it just start dripping off the nail you know but yeah let's go ahead and apply this all the way up and I wanted this as a base so um once I get this done and get it all the way to the top I'm actually going to be taking a little bit of uh, treasure chest and I'm just going to apply the glitter on top of Queenie so all right we'll go ahead and do that and we'll and i'll be right back Okay guys, so I'm using Moody Maroon and I'm actually going to do the ring finger and the middle finger uh, uh, full of Moody, Moody Maroon. I really like Moody Maroon. It's, it's really unique, I guess is why I like it so much, but it's this burgundy, but depending on how you apply it, you can either make it really dark or you can make it really light. It's totally up to you. Um, but the glitter is awesome. You look you, when you look at it, you see gold glitter and then you see green glitter. So it's just really stunning. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Um, I'm just trying to make sure the consistency is right, that it's not too runny, not too dry. And I'm just simply pulling it down the sides. Every time you see me pull away from the screen, that is me wiping my brush off and keep trying to keep that clean because you don't want to get acrylic stuck in your brush just makes it really hard or get it into your monomer because once you get it in your monomer then your acrylic will stick to your brush always so keep that in mind but i'm just patting and pressing and just trying to even it all out to make sure that it's all um uh keeps that nice shape to it i guess you'd say but I'm just pulling it down and yeah, just looking at it as I go. I do kind of tilt it up towards me a little bit once I pat it out to make sure it's all even. I usually apply anywhere from three to four beads on a nail unless I try to do like the one ball method Then I just usually apply like one big bead or possibly two if I can get away with it. But where these nails are really long, it's best to do as you know smaller beads and just you know try to keep that um consistency uh as not dry or not too wet but anyways let's go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and apply this to both nails and I'll let you guys watch me do that
Okay guys, so right here I'm just going to do a extended nail bed. I'm actually using the uh, cover pink from Evie Hernandez and guys, it's so beautiful. It has that little hint of shimmer to it. But anyways, when you're doing an extended nail bed, you just want to make sure that you're taking your brush and rubbing or going around the edge. You want that, try to get that as crisp as you possibly can um, with your brush. Um, I do go in afterwards once it's fully dry and take a file and kind of crisp it up even more but if you can do most of the work with your brush it's better that way uh, that way it's not so hard to file or anything but just keep the, those edges tucked in and just keep going around the nail until it's completely completely dry around that area and that way you have that little bit of a ledge that way when you go to apply your color up to it um, you'll have a crisp um, crisp uh, extended nail bed you know you, you mean you'll have an, a crisp line there it won't look all wonky and everything but I'm just every time I apply a bead of acrylic to it I just keep going around that edge to make sure that it's still staying pretty crisp but yeah so I'm just gonna go all the way up I am keeping my bead uh, not too wet not too dry um, that was way that it's easy to um, blend it in with what's already there but, and I'm just using uh, just really small beads too. That way it doesn't like over overflow over top of it. But I'm just taking my brush and just kind of pushing that in the back and then just feathering it down on top of the wrist. And go around the cuticle, make sure you're not touching that um, anywhere around the side walls or anything. And just kind of pat it a little bit, kind of just make sure that it's fully spread across the nail, that you're not leaving any gaps or anything. I really love this acrylic though guys oh my god it's so good I feel like I left a little place out right here so I'm just gonna take a little tiny bead and just add that to it just gently pressing and pulling it down a little bit and like I said just make sure you don't get it on your sidewalls you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping that away Yep, anyways, I'm gonna do this. So now I'm just taking a little bit of each one of these colors and I'm just gonna kind of apply them here and there on the nail. Uh, this one is the Queenie that I've added. I did add a Capricorn already to the top of it that was from the Zodiac collection. And I'm just kind of blending the two together. Um, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of this Moody Maroon. And I'm gonna add it right below Queenie here, just a little tiny bead, it doesn't take very much. And I'm just gonna kind of pull it up a little bit over top of it and then just kind of bring the rest of it down. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's that's a good thing. It just when you're applying different colors, it does not have to be perfect. Just any way that you want it to look really. But I really mostly wanted it for the glitter that was in it, just kind of like make sure it kind of matched all the other nails. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the um, treasure chest, or actually no, this is cancer. I'm actually taking cancer and I'm just kind of blending it on the top of the um, Capricorn color. And that way it just kind of ties it all in. But be very careful with black because black can overtake colors if you're not careful. That's the reason I'm just trying to keep it down to one side here. Um, it is a little bit of a drier bead just so that it wouldn't like flow all over the, the nail over top of the other colors so I'm just trying to keep it in one area and then I'm just going to take a little bit more and I'm going to take some of this color here and this one is uh, a little bit more of the um, Queenie and I'm just kind of blending that in a little bit I want to take a little bit of this treasure chest uh, once I get Queenie done here a little bit of oh no this is Capricorn I'm sorry that's not even Queenie my bad oh I'm not very good at doing <laughs> voiceovers I'm sorry putting a little bit more of cancer on there just kind of blending it out as well but leaving them these kind of wet you know that way they kind of blend in together really easy that like I don't have to do as much work to it and they're extremely thin as well because like I said you're still going to be encapsulating this uh, in your crystal clear okay once I get these where they're at I'm just going to kind of take my brush and just kind of pull over them kind of pull it down the nail a little bit and just patting very easily just making sure that it's not like um, too translucent I guess you'd say and then I'm going to take some of treasure chest which is a beautiful glitter mix 
and I'm just going to add it to the end of the nail here. I'm still, I don't really, um, I was going to leave it clear at first, but then, like I said, I want to add this glitter mix because I just want to tie all the nails in together. So I'm just spreading that out just where you can see the glitters in it. I'm going to take one more small bead and add it to the bottom of it. And then that should be it for this nail. And then we'll go on with the rest. Alright guys, so now I'm just taking Queenie and I'm just going up around this edge of the extended nail bed, just pulling it down and I really just wanted this as a base color. So I'm just taking a, a small bead, pulling it down and then I'm going to just kind of feather it out a little bit. Didn't really have to be perfect or anything like that because I said I'm just using this as a base color. Um, I, I like to do that a lot when I'm applying glitter and things, but I'm just taking a second bead, doing the same thing, just feathering it down the nail, making sure the sidewalls are nice and clean. And once you do that, now I'm going to take a little bit of Treasure Island and, or Treasure Chest, oh, what did I say Island for? Treasure Chest, and I'm just applying it over top of Queenie, like I said, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. If you want the color to show through, just leave a few places open like that, but I like to spread my glitter out, that way you can see what's exactly inside the glitter. I am going to apply this one more small bead and I'm just going to kind of pat it and press it and like I said I just like to see everything that's inside of the glitter um, I think it's really cool to do that so I just don't like to like bunch up glitter over top one another a lot anyways because I just feel like you just can't see how pretty it is so now I'm just taking my crystal clear that I got from the nail junkie and let me tell you guys this is the best crystal clear I have ever used. I love this stuff, but I'm just going to take it and I'm going to encapsulate all my work because that way when I go to file, I don't want to file into any of the colors or the glitter. But yeah, I'm just going to go up the nail all the way to the cuticle, making sure the sidewalls are all kept in. I do want to make sure that this is not a really wet bead because I don't want it to uh, flow off of the nail. With the cuticle, cuticle, I'm just pushing around the cuticle and just pulling down the sidewalls and then make sure your nail is tilted downwards, that way gravity kind of helps. And I am just going to pull it down over top of the rest and it looks beautiful. I'm going to add one more at the free edge here just to make sure I've got that glitter fully encapsulated, making sure to wipe the sidewalls and things down. And I'm going to take one more bead. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. That way I have my apex and have strength to this nail. And once I have that done, and that's it. you got to make sure that you have that apex and that strength, guys. Or you'll have nails that will break off and just they just won't have no strength to it. But yeah, go ahead and do that, and it looks just beautiful. I love how clear it is. I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate this as well. Going over top of the um, free edge there. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, I'm going over top of it. I'm pulling it down, making sure that I've got all the glitter fully encapsulated. I'm not going to go all the way up the nail. There's no need to because with the Cover Pink, it's a strength powder. So you do not have to apply acrylic or clear acrylic over that. It, only if you want to do that, you possibly can. But just to add maybe like, you know, strength at the apex area and things like that. But I only go halfway, pulling it down. And you'll see, like, once you know, you'll know all the glitter is encapsulated when it turns matte. And yeah, so once you do all that, you just got to make sure that it's fully covered. There's none showing. Like I said, you'll see when it does because it'll be matte. It'll go with this matte color. But I'm also going to encapsulate uh, these as well because, like I said, it's got glitter in it. We don't want to be following through that. But I'm just going to repeat the same process for all of these nails.
Okay guys, so I got these fools here. I'm going to show you how to apply these fools. I got these from Amazon. They're so beautiful. It comes in a set of three and I think it was like $10. If I can still find them, I will put the link down below for you guys. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick out which ones I want because these are such beautiful flower fools. So pretty. Uh, but it does come in like in a set of three, just like I said. Um, you get some galaxy fools, flowers. And now one set that I didn't really I mean it's okay but some of the flowers are really too big to put on your nails but I'm using this Coca U uh, this is full gel it's so amazing it's super sticky love this stuff but I'm just gonna apply some to my thumb here I'm just gonna make sure that it's fully coated just do a very thin layer it doesn't need to be thick at all but you're just gonna apply it and make sure that you don't uh, you know cure this for like 30 to 60 seconds and this is the result these beautiful folds i absolutely love them and they look so pretty so i'm going to do the same i want to take a piece of this full and i'm just going to line it up where i want it just kind of check to see where i want the flowers placed on it um you do want to do that before you apply your gel so go ahead and apply that like i said just do a really thin layer all the way around it make sure you're not getting in your side walls or anything um, but like i said it just takes the smallest amount because this stuff is the stickiest full gel i've ever used in my life now i will link it down below for you guys if i can find it i did order this from aliexpress which i don't know suck it the shipping kind of sucks but it is what it is but anyways I'm just going to apply the full here and I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up where I want it press down and then I'm just going to take my finger and my nail and just kind of rub that into the uh, gel and um, um, like I said you can cure this anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds just depends on your light but once I get it to where I want it and I got it all pressed down you do want to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles or anything like that um, just so that you get the full design press it down and just rip it away and there is your full it's that easy guys so i'm going to take and cut out this little tiny rose here um i thought it was so cute and i just wanted to use it and so i'm going to take my pointer finger here i'm going to apply some more gel same as i did the last two nails just all over the nail and like i said don't forget to cure cure for 30 to 60 seconds once you get it fully covered, but this uh, really like, this is probably like one of the best full gels that I've ever used guys. Um, uh, like I was really, at first I thought maybe it wasn't going to be as good, but this is probably my favorite. And then I'm just going to take my rose here and I'm just going to press it into the edge here and take my finger, rub it in really good. And I'm going to take my nail and just kind of press down even more. And just to make sure that it's not got any wrinkles or anything and then i'm just going to rip it off and there it is and it literally it it takes the home image like i don't ever have it's never been like where it, it was like spotted or things like that it's really a great full gel so now i'm just going to take this Venalisa bling gel and I'm going to apply it to where I want to add my rhinestones. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this bling gel. First of all, it's from Vinalisa. I love Vinalisa products. 
but this took a couple about a month or so to get to me it always does but I still order I mean it does, I'm very patient in that way but this bling gel is super runny super thin so I will advise you if you're applying this to be very careful and very cautious because it will run into your cuticles because it's so thin. Um, I do have problems like with the bling kind of moving around on me as well. So I'm not like crazy about it. But now if you're just applying like small rhinestones like this, it's just great to do. But I would probably do it like... If I had it to do over, I would just do like one rhinestone at a time, like put a bead down, put a rhinestone, put a bead down, which I know is a little bit more work, but uh, it's so runny, guys, really runny. And But I do like the fact that it's in this little tube and that it has a brush on it that you can just apply it. But I guess I just need to find another technique on how to use it, you know. But all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And once you get your bling down, I'm actually going to take my top coat and go around the diamonds so that way they won't fall off. Um, I do have to say I've not had any rhinestones fall off with this bling gel, though. That's one good thing about it, that I've not had any issues. But here is the final results, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below because I love talking to you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I absolutely love these acrylics. Like I said, don't forget to go check out Evie's store and her Facebook group. Use my code Melinda Boo, save 15%. But go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Let's be friends and do nail art together. I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.